Hey everybody, this is Miss Divine Stalls, and this week's topic is hate crimes. I have quite a bit to say about hate crimes. Working in public policy and working with the nonprofit sector with Action Northwest and other nonprofits, I see a lot of this. And quite frankly, since the passage of Prop 8, we have had a real spike in a lot of hate crimes, at least the ones that have been reported. I personally believe there's always more than what we hear about in the news. One of the things that really irritates me about the public reaction to hate crimes, particularly from the gay community, is that we don't seem to really care very much. We'll see hate crimes covered rather extensively in local gay newspapers or local gay websites or something like that, but the mainstream media might cover it for a night, maybe two, depending on what's happening, but for the most part, that's going to be about it, and then you don't hear about it anymore. I remember a few years ago, a kid named Micah Painter was involved in a terrible hate crime in which he almost lost his life. Luckily, he did manage to pull through it. But when the time came for the court date, the trial for the people who had attacked him, the place was packed with supporters for the attackers. And myself and two of my colleagues from Action Northwest were the only ones there to support Micah, the kid who had been attacked. And I thought it was absolutely appalling that our apathy and disinterest in our own community would extend to something like this because the, at first, public pressure on the police department to find these guys and bring them to justice was huge. But when it came down to being in the courts and showing our support and rallying around this kid and those who support him and his family, we just weren't doing it. Just we're not doing it. We were there in spirit, blah, blah, blah. It's really annoying. And the spike in these new hate crimes, there have been three in the last four or five weeks, a huge number for such an early time of the year. And where's the public outrage? Where is the demand for justice? Where are the rallies? Where are the letters to the editor? Where is the pressure on the, the, pressure on the police department and the LGBT police advisory council? Not anywhere nowhere to be seen another thing that really irritates me about the public's response to hate crimes is that so many people don't report it because they don't think anything's going to come of it much like with the rape a lot of people just want to forget about it and move on and unfortunately that means the person who did it will probably end up doing it again the problem is no one really knows how to report a hate crime there's so much of a gray area between is it a hate crime is it not a hate crime how do you define a hate crime blah blah blah, blah. A lot of people say that why should someone be punished for what they were thinking about when they committed the crime? Well, there's a big difference between my going into your home and stealing your television and my going into your home and shooting you in the head because you're black. Just saying. So we compiled with Action Northwest a website based around the Micah Painter attacks giving information about where people go when they've been attacked or when they've been you know, fired for being gay or lost a home or were denied a rental agreement for being gay, whatever it might be. And the traffic was huge because it was one of the only resources available at the time. There's quite a bit more now, but it's hard to find sometimes this kind of information. We had to do extensive amount of research for several weeks before we could get a comprehensive list up of where to go and what to do and who to talk to, etc. Every five or so years, we have to have another Matthew Shepard. We have to have another Gwen Ajiro. We have to have these horrific, nationally reported hate crimes that will shake people's consciousness but not do anything to really stop the kind of attitudes and the bigotry that cause them. Proposition 8 is a perfect example. Why is it that within my own lifetime we see the work of Gavin Newstrom, the public outcry over Matthew Shepard, and yet, boom, at the same time that we elect a black president, we got Prop 8. So it's really amazing how ignorant the public is about these kinds of things. And it's something that's extremely irritating for me and one that I really wish we could do something about.